All right. Welcome back, everyone. Um, today's a big day here at News for Jackson. I have air in my ear, so if you guys can do something about that, um, it would help me. Okay, thank you so much. We have a team that we work with, so they're downstairs okay. holding it down. I'm up here holding it down, so thank you for that. Um, we are streaming this Mental Health Matters Day here. Um, we have a phone bank that has been going since 7 a.m. this morning. The number to call is 904-346-4630 or 800-366-9598. We have mental health professionals. Hello, thank you all for volunteering today. Um, we've been having a number of calls, but we can certainly take more clearly. So please, if you are having a mental health issue, if you just have some questions, you want to navigate the system for you or someone you love, we suggest that you give this number a call. Also, 988 is a suicide prevention hotline, um, a direct number that you can call 24-7, and we want to make that clear. All right, I have with me Lynn Sherman, who's the Executive Director of Health Programs for the City of Jacksonville, and Abigail Dobby. Thank you. I kind of asked her on the fly, so she's ready for us, though. She's with LSF Health Systems, which really manages a lot of the state and federal dollars that go out to all of these great organizations that do the work on the ground, making sure that people's mental health is, is um, that's what I'm looking for, is taken care of, supported. right? It's supported, thank you, and taken <laughs> care of. Um, Lynn, I wanna bring you into the okay. conversation first. Um, this is a huge partnership mm -hmm. um, that we think is important to get this information out there. This month also, the city mm -hmm. is making it super easy for now and forevermore mm -hmm. to make sure that people understand that there are a lot of resources out there for them and also that they are not going through this alone. Yes, that is exactly right. We are working with all of the mental health agencies here in, in our, in Jacksonville and Duval and to ensure that there are resources for people in our community. We're, we're working collaboratively with them. They are working together. They are, they're working to compile a complete resource list, which is something that has not happened mm -hmm. in our city before. Each organization would normally have their own resource list. We are compiling those lists so that people can go to a one-stop shop right. to find the information that they need in order to connect to the services. And that allows us to be um, more helpful to yeah. um, the people in our community who needs mental health services. Yeah, you know, I, I like to be transparent, especially when we're talking with our web audience. But even mm -hmm. for us, sometimes we get a lot of emails mm -hmm. and it's hard to kind of aggregate that data to present it in the best way to our viewing audience. So this is a great way mm -hmm. um, going to the city's website. But right now, if you go to newsforjax.com, we have all of that information so if you would like to go there for now, because the city's website's down for just a little yes. bit. So right now, we don't want you to miss this opportunity. Go to newsforjax.com. We have those resources there. So Abigail, I want to bring you into the conversation. Tell us what LSF Health Systems does. So we're the managing entity. So we take the funds from the federal and state government and we distribute it to our network service providers. So we're also the safety net for individuals who are uninsured or underinsured. Mm -hmm. So we help connect people to services that they can't get otherwise. Um, and we also have an access to care line for those individuals. If you're having trouble finding a place to get support for your mental health or substance abuse issues, then we can help connect you. What is that number? Um, I don't know. Okay, it. that's okay. Memorize. You know what? Uh, if I you bet, go to the LSF yeah, website, you can they, find they can it. find yes. the number. Okay. Yes. I mean, what it what it does show is that there's a lot out there, mm -hmm. and I think as we've been having this discussion, even for me, I'm surprised because there was a time when I felt like people felt like they couldn't really get the resources they need. But as we've seen, there are more resources for people, and there's really no excuse if you do need help, it's out there and available to you. Yeah, okay. and we're here to help connect you. Yeah. Yeah. What have you found? Um, because also, you go out and you manage and make sure that things are being handled well you yes. know make sure the money's been used properly and that the mm -hmm. people are properly trained to give out those services yeah well we go out we go monitoring um, on a schedule every three years we're gonna go and look at the providers and see um, are they providing the best practices available are they following suicide best practices um, we also see all the incidents that happen in this part of the state so we review those and if things are going more wrong maybe we'll go provide a training or mm -hmm. will or I'll go and I'll create a training based on the specific issues that we see so um, we do whatever we can it's very collaborative right. the way that we interact mm -hmm. with our providers. But no one's working in a silo. No yeah. no there we're always getting emails back and forth calling doing what we can to help support our providers. I think that's important for people to know you yeah. know because this is hard work it's <laughs> emotional work and I think to add that collaboration with all the different organizations is so important. You know, Lynn, what is the hope of this? You know, what would the city like to see? Well, the city would like to see everyone be healthy. 
mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. And this is one way for us to ensure that emotionally, mentally, that people can be healthy and they can get the, need, the, the uh, care that they need in order to be healthy. And this is how we do it. We come together and we care for one another and we make sure that people have the things they need in yeah. order to function. And you know, we've done that with other things, mm -hmm. partner with you all, Fluvax Jacks. Mm -hmm. You know, our goal is to give people options and yes. choices That's and to know that those resources are out there. I'll, I'll ask you though, because I think this is often hard, mm -hmm. um, how do you really measure that, that you are making an impact? Well, we, we track data. Um, everyone here is keeping track of the type of issues that we're addressing so that we can ensure that we have what we need to address what's common. Mm -hmm. What are some of the complaints that people have? Do we have people who are calling in who are in crisis? And if that is the case, how do we uh, integrate ensure that the entire community is aware of 988 mm -hmm. and that they can get uh, crisis management and, and care and support right away. They don't have to wait. So we measure that by keeping track of the numbers, keeping track of the, the typical uh, types of mental health issues that people are calling for. And then we work to ensure that we have the experts in the room mm -hmm. to care for those people. It's evolving. I mean, yes. when you're doing something mm -hmm. new, you want to make sure that you're doing it right. So this is a great first step. Again, newsforjax.com, you'll be able to see those resources if you would like to reach out and do this work on your own. But right now, you can call because you guys are not busy. What is going on? Make sure, can, I, can you just make sure your phones are working for me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're working? Okay, which means you're not calling. So if you are watching this, that means someone else could possibly be missing it. So push this out um, to your loved ones. Let them know that there are resources and there are very caring people. I mean, what I've, what I've learned just yes. being in this group that all these people are the biggest hearts. It's hard work. Thank you for the work that you do. Um, so make the phone call. It's confidential. Mm -hmm. They handle you with care. And if you want to go further, you can. And if you don't, you don't have to. The number 904-346-4630. So coming up after the break, we're going to talk a little bit more about our veterans. You know, some of the things that they're going through on the Suicide Awareness Month and the resources that are available for them because we are all here on the same page working for the same thing. So thank you, Lynn. Thank, thank you, you, Abigail, thank for joining you. us today. And we're going to send you back to answer, hopefully, phone that will be ringing. All right, we'll be right back after a short break.